to be on the you guys are affiliated with Scientology. With Scientology. You know what it is. What is it? What is it? You know what Scientology is. Look, educate us. Be a star today, bro. Educate us. I'll actually sit here. Let us know what it is. Educate us. How can you connect what us? What church are you part of? You just told us. Science yeah, tells right. just told us. You just told us. What do you think about Oh, yeah. Hey, we, we, he's a professional scoffer. You are a professional scoffer. Uh, study or uh, you believe bullshit. In God? You believe in God? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, well, oh, okay. Come on. Uh, keep it moving. You are a physicist the right and a philosopher. Physicists and philosophers don't necessarily believe in God. How do you feel about the nuclear missiles coming to How America? do you feel about your affiliation with your church's views on Scientology? Well, we Because you're anti-white, but you're affiliated with the Church of white? Scientology. Are you calling yourself white? Yeah. And you told me that are you're you anti-white. Are you the same color as this? You told me look, that I'm talking, a racist talking, talking. because I'm white. Look, that's white people. They go, look. Are you the same color as the back of this paper? The last time I are you the same here, color? Are you the same color as the no, back no. of this paper? That's not, are you the same I'm color? Sorry. Are you comparing are you me color? to the color white, white okay. versus my skin tone? So because there's two color? very different so things. So what's your skin color? Your level of education must be color? very motherfucking small to white? think that I'm compared to a white board. So why do you guys call yourselves white? Why do you call yourselves white then? It's no, look at the United States Census, because that's what we're categorized. Why? Why? Do you know that in the census, the U.S. Census, Middle Eastern people are also categorized as white? Okay, so It's just what the census said. Mr. Smartman, what is your race? What is your race? What is your race? What is your race? If you're not white, what is I your race? My right, race would be something of a European descent. Um, if you look up the word European, it goes back to Europa. It goes back to the Phoenician God. No, go back to Africa. You know, so fuck them, you fucked them up. You went into Ohio. You fucked them up. You fucked them up. It don't matter. It don't matter, man. It don't matter. You're fucking wrong. It don't matter. You're back to Europe. You're back to Europe. You're always doing wrong. You should show me your school. Hey, give me the knowledge of this world is bullshit. The knowledge of this world is bullshit. The knowledge that you have been taught is bullshit. You are an idiot. You gotta continue to come to us. You ain't no shit. You know nothing. Look, my man, put some shoes on. He looks got little shoes on, man. Hey, I got you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, man. You look like you a sensible man. I try to be non sensible. Where, where do you guys get the name? You start calling yourself white people. Do you feel like you're the same color as this right here? I personally feel sort of pinky yellow. No! Oh, oh, oh. Just with my man, you didn't want to that, man. man. And he got a degree from Loyola. You're not, you're not the color of this. And he just I, said pink is red. I, I try not to think about it, you know? It's, okay. It hurts my feelings. Oh, it hurts That's his feelings! It hurts his feelings! It does. Man! That's all we needed. Here's, here's the secret about blue eyes. Check it out. Oh, no, no, we ain't worried about the blue eyes. No, we just want to do it. I'm going to tell you one secret about it. We can't look into the sun. Ah! He knows he can't. The sun side, is your enemy. When the, the sun is your enemy. sun is on that side, I can't look that way. Man. Everything turns into yellow. The sun will give you cancer. Silhouettes. The sun will give you cancer. It's me cancer. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. So, so, so they said that white skin was the best because it's actually the weakest. They turn everything upside down. Where and were you when the man was right here? They turn it upside down. Yeah. That's right. They're Everybody turning up speaking. things upside down. So he said it, they're the weakest, but they claim for them to be the best. Con, con. Hey. The man just admitted, the man just admitted to being a weaker race. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, you got Caesar Borgia on his shoes. 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 Look, Hey, you just assaulted me with food, man. What are you doing, bro? Hey, my man, what's the, he went to the store to buy some milk. I'll eat these bitches, Hell too. No, 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 no. Show the racist. He went to the store to buy some Oreo. He went to the store. He said, man, two colors can get along. Here's how we feel about two colors. He went to the store to buy some Oreo. Two colors can get along. Here's how we feel about two colors get along. No, man, fuck that cracker, man. We don't want nothing from that cracker, man. Uh 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 that nigga crazy on drugs. Two colors can't get along. Hey, that's the folly to this place, man. Oh, hell that's God. the folly to this place, man. Shalom. Shalom. Kohalayam law.
Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Ha Rechachardash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalawam to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya'ais from Yahawada, coming at y'all again with another beautiful lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And as you see, man, my brothers, man, out there putting in this work, going through hell, we got these heathens, these, these damn red dragons coming across my brothers, man, talking that nonsense and going to the store. And buying a dag on uh, 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 a bag of Oreos and, and and assaulting my brothers with Oreos, man, just to just to just to comfort their damn feelings, man. Uh, the two races can go together. Scientology, this and that. Hey, look, man. E, listen, E, man. You've lost. Accept it, man. As a matter of fact, that's going to be the name of this lesson, man. E, you've lost. Accept it, man. Okay, you got this dragon coming up talking about some damn Scientology. Where did all the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding come from? Answer me that, my nigga. Where did all the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding come from, man? Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, the creator of everything, man. And there's numerous scriptures to prove that, man, that he created everything. And there's, man, there's one, there's one book in the, in the Apocrypha alone in uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 24. Read that, man. Okay. And, and, and amongst others, man, in Proverbs too, man. But man, we're going to debunk this devil, man. Okay, y'all, y'all knowledge, y'all wisdom and understanding, y'all uh, uh, brilliance is gone, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has awoken his men. I don't want rot this out. We are those men, man. Okay, so like I said before, E, you've lost, accepted, point blank, period. So let's debunk this nonsense, man. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Let's start out there first. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. I'm, I'm going straight to the points on all these, Israel. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going straight to the points. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. Let's read verse 17 and it reads this. Let us see. Let us see if his words be true. So let us see if this cave gorilla, this, this, uh, uh, this silverback beast, let's see if his words are true. Let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him? And let's let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go to Hebrews. Because as you saw, man, this dude was being cut. Because everything that comes out of our mouth is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah speaking through us, man. We are the vessels of our father, man. Out here speaking his words, man. He, we go to sleep. He seals the instructions in us. And we come out here and we preach and teach it, man. So we don't speak our own vain opinion. We speak the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. So this devil was cut through the words... Through the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Let's get that. Hebrews chapter chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads this: For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the, the, the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart man so yeah how about shim yahweh shah rouse this devil up to show him that his knowledge wisdom and understanding is nothing okay your knowledge wisdom and understanding is nothing compared to the most high yeah how about shim yahweh shah man okay he's he's given that knowledge wisdom and understanding to babes man to his men the men of yasharala okay we are the princes of the power man you know Furthermore, man, matter of fact, let's get a scripture on your how about Shim Yahweh stripping y'all of your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Matter of fact, we're gonna get two on that, man. We're gonna get two on that, but we're gonna get this one first. Jeremiah uh chapter 49, I believe. Let me get to it. I think that's what I want. Yep, Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 7, and it reads this: Concerning Edom, concerning who? Edom. Which what does Edom mean? Red. And what is Edom in uh Hebrew? Adawam. Adawam. I know it sounds like Adawan, which means Lord. It's just with an uh, with an M, not with an N. Adawan is Lord, and Adawam is Edom, which means red. Concerning Edom, 
Thus saith Yahweh of hosts is wisdom. No more in teeming is counsel perished from the prudent. Is their wisdom vanished? And to make it short for you, yes. Short and sweet, yes. It is vanishing. It is gone, man. Everything you doing, everybody is bringing forth your lies. Everybody is debunking what's coming out your mouth. You can't hide yourself no more, Esau. You can't hide behind your tongue, Esau. Okay, the only people you're going to deceive are these heathens and two-thirds of our people, man. But you will not deceive the elect, man. Point blank period, man. Your wisdom is gone. And as you heard, man, you heard the brother saying uh, to bring out that scripture about the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this world. They ain't get to bring it out, but I'm going to bring it out for the brothers, man. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring out two on, on, in this chapter. We're going to read the first one. We're going to jump to something else, and we're going to jump back. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Starting off at verse 19, and it reads this. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. And who was he talking about? He's talking about you heathens. And furthermore, and first, he's talking about you Edomites, man. Okay, because y'all claim to be so wise, so intelligent. Nobody's smarter than you. Nobody's stronger than you. Nobody's this. Nobody's that. You're above everybody. But you're the basis of men. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? Have not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? Yes, he has, man. Because Esau Edom is foolish, man. He's carnal, man. Okay, and to be, car and to, to be carnal is to be an enemy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is taking, uh, uh, taking that cover that you've put over yourself and that false science, that false wisdom that you have, he's, he's making you uh, destroy yourself from inside out, man. Okay, you got your own people coming against you and you got these other nations coming against you and, uh, and first and foremost, you got Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai coming against you, man. Verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knoweth not the Most High. That's right. Nobody knows Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, but the remnant coming back to him, man. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And that's only the remnant, man. So we, we giving you the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. And how are we giving it to you, man? Through, through, the, through, the, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Through his words, man. Because he revealed the understanding to us, the dark parables, the dark sayings, all that. Okay? 144% truth according to the doctrine, man. So we're going to jump back to this chapter, but let's go to something else real quick. I want to make a point. Let's go back. Let's go to Obadiah real quick. It's Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai makes it clear that he's taking that wisdom from Esau, man. Obadiah chapter 1, obviously. And let's read verse 9. And it reads this. And thy might, it's like it, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 9. And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Salaki, that was the wrong one I want to read. Salaki, forgive me, Israel. Salaki, I'm excited. Forgive me. Verse 8, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 8. Shall not, shall not, so like it, shall I not in that day, say if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau. And thy mighty men, O T men, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is destroying that, uh, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you had, man. You basically, you basically playing his game. You're doing what he wants you to do, man. You don't have no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You don't have no might. You don't have nothing. Shall shall I not in that day say if Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? And it's happening, man. This is a prime example of this dude coming against the brothers, talking that science scientology crap. Uh, BS and everything else, man, getting all this and emotions, insulting the brothers, talking about you, your understanding and your brain must be MFing this and that. 
Because Esau's hurt, man. Esau knows that his kingdom is over, man. Okay, Evil E, this cave gorilla, he knows that his kingdom is fallen and it's not going to be uh, revived. It's not going to be put on life support. Nothing, man. It's done. It's done. Okay, what, what goes up must come down. And when, and when you finally hit that ground, man, it's going to be a big explosion, a big shatter, man. Okay, your kingdom is done, man. Live with it. Okay, let's jump back to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And let's jump down to verse 27. But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So the Most High chose his people, Israel, man. Because we're looked at, we're looked at, we're looked at upon all nations, especially you Edomites, as foolish. We're looked at upon all nations as being weak. So we chose his people to confound you heathens and you Edomites, man, to make you look stupid, man. Okay, like the creatures that you are. Stupid, mortal uh, 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 beings, man. Period, man. Period, man. There's nothing that you can do about it, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai has blown, has blown that breath of life back into his children, man. Okay? Your time is up, man. Okay? Your, your rights are being read to you, Esau. And you other heathens, man. Your rights are being read to you, man. Okay? Your judgments. Everything that you, that you uh, have had, held in secret is being revealed, man. Okay? That covering cast that you put over all nations to cover your own self. Has been shredded to pieces, man. Okay, let's go here, man. Because that dude was running his mouth, man. I'm pretty sure that dude's hated, man. As soon as he walked up, man, we can tell he was cocky and proud, man. But, the, but people like this, man, psh, let's let this Bible talk, man. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 9. Ecclesiasticus chapter 9, verse 18, and it reads this. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his city. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in the city. And who was that, man? That's, that's multiple men. That's the nation of Edom, man. Okay, the nation of uh, Adawam. Okay, which means red. Esau, Edom. Esau is Edom, man. Okay? The dead man, that tongue is, is dangerous, man. You can't trust these devils. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his city. And he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. And these people are rash in their talks, man. Because Esau is emotional, man. man. Esau is a punk, man. Real talk. Esau is a punk, man. And as soon as you start cutting him and letting him know what it is, man, he gets emotional. He starts to get real rash with his tongue in his mouth, man. Okay? And don't, don't take these devils for a joke, man. Because like I said, they're carnal. Okay? So what is the carnal man going to do? What is he going to resort to? To being carnal, man. And furthermore, we don't give a damn if you be carnal because there's nothing that you can do to us because your high by Hashem Yahweh is protecting his men out here on these highways and the byways, out here on every day of life, at work, going to the grocery store, whatever it may be, he's protecting us, man. We don't give a damn about you heathens, man. Y'all can't do nothing to us, man, unless your high by Hashem Yahweh brings forth that decree, man. Period, man. And like he said something about science, too. Let's get that, man. Because y'all y'all science is, is, is nonsense, man. Let's get that real quick. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20, straight to the point. O Timothy, keep that which Salakia. <clears throat> Salakia, Bubba Gushaw, Salakia, forgive me. O Timmy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of of science falsely so called. So that's what this was, man. This was vain babblings of profane, you know, oppositions of, of uh, false science, man. That's all this man. What is that called? A uh, pseudoscience, man. That's all these devils is about, man. We don't believe in that nonsense, man. So what are you talking about? Well, the Scientology says this, and you're believing in this and that, and all uh, 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 man. Shut up. Go enjoy your day, man, because your kingdom is, is falling, man. Get out my face, man, with that nonsense, man. We don't believe in that, man. We believe in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Bahashim, Yahweh Kakradash, man. That's what we believe in, man. The creator of all, man. And as you know, as you saw, man, the dude try to come up and throw a damn bag of Oreos talking about oh, white people and black people can be together. Here's a, here's a prime example. Here's a prime example, nigger. And throwing like, like they dogs or something. 
And furthermore, Esau's stupid as hell, man, because you're going to use Oreos as an example, which is dumb. And, 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 and also, too, the, uh, the so-called black people, as you call us, they cover the white and Oreo on both ends. Dummy. Did you, did you ever think about that before you bought the Oreos? That the so-called the black pieces in the cookie cover both sides of the white people? And that that white that that little that white creaming is is nothing compared to to the both black to both of those black sides is nothing compared to it. <laughs> Stupid man, and that's a prime example of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh destroying the wisdom out of Esau, man. Prime example. So let's get this real quick. Cause we're holy. What's set apart from you uh, from you heathens, man? Leviticus chapter nineteen verses one. And two, and it reads this. And Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy. And what does holy mean? Set apart. Okay, so we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be separate from you nations, man. Ye shall be holy, for I, Yahweh, your power am holy, man. So what's supposed to be like our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah? What's supposed to be separate, uh, 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 set apart from these nations, man? Okay, period, man. So we're not like you nations. We're above you nations, man. We're set apart from you nations. Okay, uh, we're separate, man. Period, man. That's what that's what the holy means. Separate, set apart. Okay, let's keep on going. Cause as you saw, man, this dude was a scar for two, man. This dude, was, this dude was a thorough scoffer, man. Let's get that real quick. Uh, 2 Peter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall... Be, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. This dude was a scoffer. Walking after their own lust. He was walking after his own lust, man. With, with, uh, with his nation created. A science, scienceology, science this, science that. We believe in that. I don't believe in God. Well, we know you don't believe in God, man. Cause y'all, 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 um, exalt yourself as the Most High, man. We know that, man. And all, all this dude was scoffing, man. This dude basically just marked himself, okay? So you how about you? Y'all got something grievous for this dude, man. Let's jump back. Let's go to Deuteronomy uh, thirty-two real quick. Let's let's see if you how about you? Y'all wanted the nation of Israel to be uh, uh with all people, man. Uh, okay, this is Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. Verses 8 to 9. When the Most High divided, okay? When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh don't want all these nations being together. He wants everybody separate. And he damn sure wants the nation of Israel uh, 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 separated from you, from you heathens, man. Okay? He, he wants the nation of Israel to be far away from you heathens, man. Verse 9. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah's portion, is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, man. So he's not going to have his inheritance be, being polluted by you heathens, man. He's going to separate his inheritance from you heathens, man. And that and, and that, that furthermore shows this is one scripture, just one scripture showing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a racist, man. Period, man. Period, man. Ain't no way around that, man. Let's let's uh, let's, let's jump to Jew real quick cuz we got a we this dude, man, was a was a scoffer, man. He was hurt, man. He 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 felt the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on these brothers, man. He felt the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on these brothers. So this is what he did, man. This is Jude, obviously, chapter 1, verses 17, 17 to 18. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. How that they would, so like it, <clears throat> how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. And that's a prime example, man. This dude is a mocker, a scoffer, walking after his own ungodly lust, man. And little do we know his end is going to be uh, uh, to perish, man. His end is for him to perish, man. Him and his nation, man. So keep on, you know, keep on doing what you're doing, man. Because you're going to have to answer for every idle word that comes out of your mouth, man. Period, man. And then after he left, you saw the dude come. You saw the next uh, dude come and basically debunk what he said. 
in, just in a few words, as soon as he opened his mouth, he debunked everything he said, man. So let's get that. Uh, let's let's start here first. Let's go to Isaiah. Um, what is that? Isaiah twenty nine. I want to say. Let me see once I get to it. So like it. Isaiah twenty nine. I should have it marked. If this is it, I think this is it. Yep. Isaiah 29 verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the pot as the powder's clay. So these cave gorillas, these uh silverback gorillas turned everything upside down, man. They turned righteousness into wickedness and wickedness and wickedness into righteousness, man. Everything has been turned up upside down the seasons, the new year, all that, man. Everything has been turned upside down. Be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that if that so like it? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And these cave gorillas have no understanding, man. They literally, you know, flipped everything upside down, man. Just like the dude said, man. They they made it seem like having white skin is above everything when it's when it's when it's below everybody. When, when it's a curse, he basically said that in, 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 in so few words, man. He basically said that, that the sun gives them a uh, cancer. You know, so what, what is that? What is what does that go into? Let's, let's get two scriptures on that. That goes into two things. Mark chapter three. Mark chapter three, starting off at verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Because you got these Edomites that are divided amongst amongst uh, their own nation, man. They're divided, man. And this is a prime example of it. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Okay, when Israel, when we fell, we were divided, man. Southern kingdom and northern kingdom. We, we wasn't one kingdom. We were divided. So we fell. Okay, as a kingdom, as a nation. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. So Satan is rising up against Satan. So what does that mean? They're going to have an end. They're going to fall. They're going to be destroyed as a nation. Period, man. And we're seeing it. So what is it? What is another scripture we can go to on that? Let's go to Job real quick. Job chapter 15. And verse six, there you go right there. Job chapter 15, verse six, thine own mouth. Okay. Esau, Edom's own mouth, Satan, thine own mouth condemneth thee and not I. So it come to a point, we, we come across a, a, a red cave gorilla. We'll come across a red cave gorilla that'll say everything we're saying in the spirit, in the scriptures, but it'll say it in a carnal aspect. And this is a prime example of it. Thine own mouth condemneth thee and not I. Yea, thine own lips testify against thee. And that's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah showing that, man. Hey, look, man, if you don't fear and if you don't see it, man, that the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is dwelling amongst all, 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 all these men, then we don't know what to tell you, man. Because Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is, is, is in control of everything, man. Everything, man. Period, man. Let's close out, man. The point's made, man. I got a beautiful precept to close out on, man. A beautiful precept to close out on, man. Let's get to it. What is that? Uh, Micah? Let's go to it, Akiam. Let's go to it, Akiam and Akwaf. Micah chapter 7. Let's start off at verse 15. And in that 19. Yes, let's do that. Start off at verse 15 and the 19. <clears throat> Let me calm down. I'm excited. <laughs> Let me calm down. Micah 7. Micah chapter 7, starting off at verse 15. According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto him marvelous things. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai did that. He showed marvelous things when we came out of Egypt. And he's going to show stronger and more mightier marvelous things coming out of this Egypt. The nations, that means all nations and including you, you red monkeys, the nations shall see and be confounded. And that, that dude was confounded. But, you know, Esau Edom ain't going to show that he confounded. Man, he's, he's going to walk with his chest poked out and proud and pompous like he is, like the damn devil of the, of the Bible. That, 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 woo, like the damn devil that the Bible speaks of that he is, man. OK, the nations shall see and be confounded at all their might. They shall lay their hand upon their mouth 
their ears shall be deaf. And when 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 the, when the final when the salvation comes, that's exactly what they're gonna be doing, having their hands on their mouth and covering their ears, man, because they don't want to see and hear, you know, none of that, man. Period, man. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of Yahweh, our power, and shall fear because of thee. Who is a power like unto thee that partneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage and retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy? He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou wilt perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. So get ready, man, because Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is literally showing you cave gorillas, you red dragons, you thin lipped red beasts that he's forgiven us, that he that the remnant that he's shielding us, he's strengthening us and he's going to keep on pushing us forward until he sends our big brother, our king, our Messiah, Yahweh Shai to judge the nations and two thirds of our people. So get ready, Esau, because your judgment is at hand. Live it up. Live it up. Get all the boy pussy, all the drugs, everything that you want to do to live it up, do it all. Because your judgment is at hand. So, Adawan Ratazah, I pray and I hope that this was edifying to the hopeful elect. So, with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.